So we're talking about Yoda species today, and specifically I want to talk about their age and lifespan. Um, we can do other videos on them later and speculate more on what they're about, but specifically in regards to their age. So we know that Grogu is about 50 years old, and he's practically still a baby. So the species does age slowly, it seems, from what we know in canon so far. As for Yaddle, she was 477 years old in The Phantom Menace. As for Yoda, he's around 900 years old at the time of his death in Return of the Jedi. However, we don't have an exact age for Yoda because if you remember, he's like somewhere, they say he's like 800 in the prequel trilogy, but he's like closer to 900 in the original trilogy. So obviously there's only 19 years between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. So obviously that's not 100 years. So Yoda was probably way over 800 in the prequel trilogy, but maybe he was like closer to 900 in the original trilogy. And what I mean is maybe he was like um, 864 in Revenge of the Sith, whereas he was probably like... Uh, let's say uh, 24 years, so 888 in the um, original trilogy, so the 900, 800, that's just an estimate, so what his exact age is, I'm not really sure. Of course, um, since Yoda is less than 900, or actually around 900, um, and even at the oldest he could be is like 900, and the youngest he could be is like 800, he's probably, he definitely, of course, uh, was born after the Sith were presumed to be extinct, so we have that timeline. However, my theory is that I have two conflicting theories, actually. Theory number one is that Yoda species actually doesn't live very long. My theory is that Yoda species maybe only lives to be 500 or 600 at most, but Yoda was an extreme outlier in that he lived to be 900. So that's my first theory, that Yoda's lifespan is, Yoda species' lifespan is incredibly short, and Yoda is the outlier. My second theory is the opposite, where Yoda species lives to be incredibly old, but Yoda only lived to be 900. So my point is, Yoda's species lives to be incredibly old, but Yoda was the outlier in that he only lived for 900 years. So... Let's dissect each of these theories. So, as I said, um, in canon, Yoda is closer to 900, whereas Grogu is only about 50, and Yaddle is about um, 477. Now, we don't know what happened to Yaddle. It just says she took a less active role in Jedi affairs and went away. Where So... Um, is she still alive around the time of the sequel trilogy? Like, what happened to her? Did she survive? Because she was not on the Order 66 list of survivors in the Charles Soul Darth Vader comics, remember? Um, Coleman Kaj and Operancesis were on the list, but Yaddle was not. So, and of course, Yaddle is never seen or mentioned during the Clone Wars, so... I wonder, could she already be dead? Of course, um, she could theoretically have been killed, but let's say she wasn't killed and then she just lived on. Um, did she die of old age? Like, did she die because she was like 500 or 600? Um, how long is Grogu going to live? Only to be 500 or 600? Uh, so we, so the point is, we don't really have, we don't know if Yoda is, if most people of Yoda species um, live to be 900 or if that's just an outlier and that most people, most of Yoda species just die early when they're only like 600 or something. So their lifespan could be very short, but it could just be the case that Yoda lived to be very long. Because, you know, in real life, we have human beings who live to be 102, 107, 105, or even 118. <laughs> but most human beings don't live to be 107 or 105 or 102, so... We have outliers in real life among humans, so why not among Yoda species? And, of course, we do have to note that um, Yoda uh, walks with a cane and he seems to struggle a lot. So, it could be that 
you know, in real life, um, human beings who live for a really long time might have mobility issues. So maybe Yoda has just lived really, really long, even for a species, and um, he's uh, struggling. <laughs> Now, of course, in the Mandalorian, we did say that they did say that species age differently. So we do see that like, Grogu is fifty, and he's practically a baby, as I've said. So that could so that they definitely live for hundreds of years. That's for sure. But what? How? Um, but do they really live? At, do they really all live as long as nine hundred? That's we don't know that for sure. So there's that idea. So now the second theory that Yoda species actually lives a lot longer and Yoda just happened to have a shorter lifespan. Well, before we, so as we dissect this theory, let's think about it. So I mentioned Yoda's mobility issues as evidence for the fact that perhaps Yoda has lived longer than most members of a species. But really Yoda's mobility issues could just be chalked up to uh, basically individuals are different in that in real life, human beings who are maybe only in their 60s or 70s, or 80s, they might uh, walk with uh, canes and have uh, wheelchairs and struggle to get around, whereas maybe people in their 90s and 100s are getting around just fine and they have no mobility issues and don't use canes. So it's different for every single person, so it could be the same case for Yoda's species. Maybe some members of, so maybe Yoda is just unique in that he just has issues getting around and that maybe people older than Yoda among his species, maybe his other members of his species who are older than him don't walk with canes and they don't need all that stuff. Um, yes, so now to get deeper into this theory. Yoda died around 900 years old because, because maybe he was under a lot of stress. I mean, I mean, think about it. He was a Jedi Grandmaster and he was a total failure. He failed to see Darth Sidious rising and he... Darth Sidious just did everything right under Yoda's nose. Darth Sidious did the Clone Wars. Darth Sidious took over the Republic. Darth Sidious became Emperor. Darth Sidious killed all the Jedi. So Yoda feels like a failure because he is. And Yoda has just been through so much stress and so much trauma and probably a lot of a PTSD from all the horrible things that have happened to him. Uh, from, you know, losing all his friends, all his um, people who consider his family, losing just everything, um, having people just die right in front of him, experiencing the horrors of war. And so Yoda has just been through so much, so all that, uh, all the trauma and pressure eventually caught up to him, and he succumbed, and all the stress was just too much for him to handle. So therefore, therefore, he uh, couldn't handle it anymore, and eventually um, all that pain caught up to him. And that's why he died so early at the age of 900. So if he had never been through all that trauma, if maybe the Jedi Order had never gone extinct, if maybe Yoda had never failed, if maybe Yoda had caught Darth Sidious sooner, um, if all that stuff had happened, then Yoda probably could have lived even longer. Maybe Yoda could have lived to be like 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 or 10,000. Like we don't, like that's possible. So my point here is, and you remember in Rage of the Sith, when Yoda feels all the Jedi dying through the Force, um, he dropped his cane and like he's in severe just physical pain and just seems a lot weaker. So it's probably the case that um, all that stuff just caught up to Yoda over time and he started to just feel the pressure and just immense um, agony. And so all that taxation eventually killed him. And of course, at this point, he's already trained Luke, so he's done what he needed to do. He stuck around long enough to train Luke. So there is that. Um, so my thought is that perhaps Yoda species, this the second theory is obviously that Yoda species normally lives to be a lot, lot older than 900. Maybe they even lived for thousands and thousands of years. But Yoda's lifespan was uniquely short because of all the horror that he had endured. So yes, so theory number one, Yoda's species only lives to be a few hundred years old, but Yoda uh, lived much longer than the average of his species. Uh, theory number two is that Yoda's species lives to be thousands of years old. But um, Yoda only lived 900 years because um, he died quickly, and so he died 
um, relatively quickly for a member of the species. So we don't know. We don't have it much information at all. So yes, um, oh, and, and I of course I should uh, mention legends because just because why not? Um, in legends we had uh, Minch and Vander uh, Toker. What how we pronounce his name? Uh, they were Jedi of Yoda species, and they were in legends. Now, Vander Toker was killed by Darth Nihilus when Darth Nihilus drained the life off the planet that Vander was on. And Minch, uh, I don't really know much about Minch, but we only have one story about him from when he was young. So my assumption is that, um, yes, so yeah, that, that, that's just basically what I have to think. And Grogu being in the Jedi Temple, baby Yoda, Grogu being in the Jedi Temple, that's... That is very interesting because um, did Yoda bring him in? Did Yaddle bring him in? Because if Grogu was 50 years old um, during the Mandalorian, and the Mandalorian takes place five years after Return of the Jedi, that means, okay, and the Return of the Jedi takes place five years after A New Hope, so we take 10 years away, so 50 minus 10 would be 40, and so Grogu would have been 40 around the time of A New Hope, and 19 years prior to... A New Hope was Revenge of the Sith. So 40 minus 19 is about um, 21. So Grogu was about 21 years old in Revenge of the Sith. So 21 minus um, 10 is 11. Because the, excuse me, 21 minus 3 is 18 because the Clone Wars was three years long. So Grogu was 18 in Attack of the Clones and 18 minus 10 is 8. So, um, yeah, 18 minus 10 is 8 because the Phantom Menace was 10 years before Attack of the Clones. I'm talking about the timeline of the universe, not the actual movies uh, when they're released, because obviously Attack of the Clones was really released three years after Phantom Menace, but of course in the universe, in the Star Wars universe, Attack of the Clones takes place um, 10 years after the Phantom Menace. So Grogu would have been about eight years old in The Phantom Menace. So at that point, Yaddle would still be around and Yoda too. So did one of them bring him in or did they find him? Or like, what was the case? And I'm really curious if this is what Grogu looks like at 50. Like, what did he look like when he was eight years old? And that, that's just very curious to me. And how slowly do they age and how quickly do they age? So, and another thing is we see Yaddle right here. He, she um, has brown hair. Whereas Yoda hardly has any hair, but the little he has is white. And Grogu does not seem to have hair yet, like a normal baby. So now that, I'm not sure that really means anything though, because, because when you think about it, there are babies in real life who have a lot of hair. There are babies in real life who have no hair. There are babies who in life have little hair or moderate amount of hair. And there are people in real life who have brown hair their whole life and Maybe those people still have brown hair when they're 88 years old, whereas some people have white hair when they're 37 years old. So the hair color doesn't, or lack of hair in, in the case of Grogu, that doesn't really mean anything, I'm assuming. Because, like, because I said, in real life, human beings have um, different color hair, and um, hair can age, diff has its own way of aging. It's just different for every individual person. So... I wouldn't make too much of the hair color, of course, um, we do have the fact that, um, obviously, typically in real life, a 90-year-old is normally has white hair, whereas a 34-year-old has um, non-white hair, normally. So, and of course, the adult is 477, so she has brown hair, and Yoda is um, uh, 900, so he has white hair, and uh, normally in real life, a human babies have little to no hair and so in fake life Grogu has little to no hair so I'm sure there's that little bit of a correlation but I wouldn't make too much of the hair color now um, we do have to consider a few other things about Yoda species but we'll do that in separate videos as for Yoda species, how many of them are there? I don't know. I mean, I do have a personal theory that maybe most of them are extinct and there's very few of them, but I mean, we'll never know. And I hopefully, hopefully we don't get any information on that in the near future at all, because I like that Yoda species is mysterious.